Why should I blame her that she filled my days with misery, or that she would of late have taught to ignorant men most violent ways, or hurled the little streets upon the great, had they but courage equal to desire? What could have made her peaceful with a mind that nobleness made simple as a fire, with beauty like a tightened bow, a kind that is not natural in an age like this? Being high and solitary, and most stern, why? What could she have done, being what she is? Was there another Troy, for her to burn? Had I the heavens embroidered cloths, and wrought with golden and silver light, the blue and the dim and the dark cloths of night and light. And the half light, I would spread the cloths under your feet, but I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. Were you but lying cold and dead, and lights were paling out of the west, you would come hither, and bend your head. And I would lay my head on your breast, and you would murmur tender words, forgiving me, because you were dead. Nor would you rise and hasten away, though you have the will of the wild birds. But know your hair was bound and wound about the stars and moon and sun. O、oh, wood, beloved, that you lay under the dock leaves in the ground, while lights were paling one by one. When you are old and gray and full of sleep, and nodding by the fire, take down this book, and slowly read, and dream of the soft look your eyes had once, and of their shadows deep. How many loved your moments of glad grace, and loved your beauty with love false or true, but one man loved the pilgrim soul in you, and loved the sorrows. Of your changing face, and bending down beside the glowing bars, murmur a little sadly, how love fled, and paced upon the mountains overhead, and hid his face amid a crowd of stars.